Hi everybody, we're going to find the partial fraction decomposition of 1 divided by x plus 1 times x squared plus 4. And x squared plus 4 is nonlinear, so the way we're going to set it up is we're going to write a over the linear term, and since we have a quadratic term in the denominator on the second part here, we have to write the linear term because we might have, uh, we want these to be in proper rationals. So we might have a C or a B here. And the first thing we're going to do is clear the fractions by multiplying by our least common denominator, which is right here. So we're going to take x plus 1 times x squared plus 4 times this left side here. And then do the same for the right side. I'm trying to write small, so this is going to be a divided by x plus 1 plus bx plus c over x squared plus 4. Now, um, this will cancel here, so we just left with 1 on this side. Um, this is going to cancel with this one, so we're left with a times x squared plus 4. And for the bx plus c, this cancels, so we're left with bx plus c times x plus 1. Now let's go ahead and see if we can um, do a little bit on this side. Let's let x equal one, negative 1. The reason we're doing that is if I put a negative 1 here, this is going to turn to 0, and that zeroes that out. So when I do that, I get 1 equals a times 1 squared plus 4 plus b times negative 1 plus c. And then again, this is just going to be 0. So what happens is that zeroes out. This equals 5. So you get 1 equals a times 5, I'll put the 5 in front, so a equals 1 fifth. Okay, now let's try to find the b and the c. So to do that, we're going to let x equal 1. So if we let x equals 1, we get 1 equals a times uh, 1 squared plus 4 plus b times 1 plus c times 1 plus 1. Well, this is going to give you 1 equals 5a. We already know that a is 1 fifth. And then we get um, b plus c times, this is supposed to be a 1, times 2. So we know that a is 1 fifth, so we're going to get 1 equals 5 times 1 fifth, which is just this 1, equals 2b plus 2c. And if you, uh, sub this equals 1, if you subtract 1 from both sides, you get 0 equals 2b plus 2c. And again, you could divide everything by 2 and get 0 equals b plus c. And um, we have this we're going to have to set up. Now, the other one I want to do is let x equal 0. And we let x equal 0. We get 1 equals a times 0 squared plus 4 plus b times 0 plus c times 0 plus 1. So in this case, we get 1 equals um, 4a. Now this goes away. This is 1, so you get plus c. 
we already know that a is 1, so you get 1 equals, or a is 1 fifth, is 1 fifth plus c. So now this is 4 fifths, so you get 1 equals 4 fifths plus c, and you can just mentally know that c is going to be 1 fifth, or subtract, this is 5 fifths, so this would be 5 fifths minus 4 fifths, equals C, so one-fifth equals C. Also, we already knew that B plus C equals zero. So basically, we have B plus one-fifth equals zero, therefore B equals negative one-fifth. So we have B, we have C, and we also have A already equals one-fifth. So all we have to do is plug it in, and we plug it in, we're going to get 1 over x plus 1 times x squared plus 4, that's going to equal my a, which is 1 fifth over x plus 1, all right, plus negative 1 fifth for my b, and um, that's times x plus my c is one-fifth, and then you just write your denominator, which is x squared plus 4. And that's your final answer. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.